There you go. YouTube stream is back. Forgot to hit the go button. Uh, he, welcome back to uh, Supermarket Simulator again. Sorry, I forgot to hit go on the YouTube stream. Um, but we, he expected to sell around four thousand copies of this game, and currently he sold about six hundred thousand copies. So that's a little more than he was expecting, and now um, he can afford to make the game full time. So he will be working full time on the game, and just like whoa, I know I love to hear stories like that. It is always nice if someone can like make money doing what they like to do like if they like to make games they get to make games i know he could with that kind of money like he can start to maybe hire a second person to like help him out on the game but if he wants to keep going solo like uh concerned ape did with uh stardew valley then it's fine too um Okay. And now that we've done... Oh, wait. There's more to restock. There we go. Do the sodas. Forgot about the stuff up there. Soda. I had a job at a soda factory where I just crushed cans all day. But I quit because it was so depressing. Happy Pun Day Monday, everybody. <laughs> Are you guys bad, dude? Um, expanding is extremely expensive. Um, so I will when I have the finances to do so. But right now, I've got to be careful about spending too much money. Stock all the meat and put that back. All right, what is that? That is orange juice. Uh, a little bit of flour. All right, next day, and let's catch up on puns. It is Pun Day Monday. If you subscribe on, I thank if you. you do a paid sub on YouTube, TikTok, or Twitch, I will read a horrible pun to celebrate your subscription. We've had some already, so I'm going to start with a few. I've got a chicken-proof garden. It's completely impeccable. Two loaves of bread wanted to get married, which is why they eloped. The pharaohs of Egypt came with the first pyramid scheme. The girl quit her job at the donut factory because she was fed up with the whole business. The Irish are wealthy since their capital is always Dublin. I lift weights only on a Saturday because Sunday. Uh, I only lift weights on Saturday and Sunday because Monday to Friday are weekdays. Ah, thank you for all those paid subs, guys, on Punday Monday, the day where your subscription gets punished. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're great. Just great. All right, let's do some restocking. What do I have there? What do I have even there? Okay, we need all the eggs. Why, thank you. Let's buy all the eggs. Okay, all the eggs. Um, we could use... Sugar, sugar, all of the sugar. 
Oh my god, thank you, SOS Diablo, for that gift of the heart. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Oh, Mondays, I know. Aren't they the best? Random and Sir um, Cinnamon Buns, thank you for the for those subs on Twitch. A hair raising experience sounds promising to a bald man. It does. My li wife likes it when I blow air on her when she's hot, but honestly, I'm not a fan. Water, milk. Milk. May chat honor you with a feast. <laughs> uh, got plenty of pizza. Got enough chicken. Uh, we got sugar coming. We need all the red flour. Red flour. Um, we need mm, pasta, and we need we need both pastas. I right, grab all that, and then one sort of cheese is missing. Let's see. We're missing regular cheese. That's what it is. Thank you. Okay, regular cheese. Uh, peanut butter, honey. Honey. Um, got a little move flat in the back. Got a nut. Well, we could use some bleach and coffee and tea. Bleach, coffee, tea. Bleach, coffee. Some tea. We need some big sushi and small sushi. Big and small sushi. Uh, a little more tuna. Top off our tuna. Um, candy. We're out of completely out of candy. Candy. Um, olive oil. We're out of oil. Um, brown sugar as well. We're going to want, um, we're okay on that for now. I could use a little more of the other stuff, but don't desperately need it just yet. All right. Oh, God, now we, now we restock. <laughs> now it begins. Well, hello there, you saucy minx. The game is fun. It needs major quality life with bait. Yep, yeah, that's why the game isn't done yet. It's it, a work in progress. A big update's coming today that's going to be adding um, being able to type numbers in with the number number pad and also a restocker job, which will help immensely with the amount of time it takes to restock why, thank stuff. thank you. Should be out today. Might be tomorrow, but should be soon. Why, thank you. Dev's working as hard as he can on it. A lot of inventory, I know. Hello there, you saucy minx. The inventory it takes so long to fill it up, then it empties so much faster. <laughs> uh, brown sugar. All right, and then let's put this over here. Put that over there. Um. Uh, thank you, uh, Sido Sido Yoda, for that six-month resub on Twitch. Appreciate that. Uh, never date a tennis player. Love means nothing to them. If you understand the rules of tennis, you'll get that one. <laughs> Love is what they refer to um, when the player has zero. Like if someone has a, a point, it's one love, meaning the other person doesn't have any points. 
So it's zero. <laughs> yeah, it's tennis. <laughs> I had to explain because some people were like, I don't know what tennis rules are. They saw the look of confusion. I'm like, oh. Oh my. Uh, tuna. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Not all heroes wear capes. Alright, fill all that in there. Uh, thank you for that resub, Pavlos. It says Dan Duck. Put some Dan Duck in the chat. What's up with the punny jokes today? Today is Monday, which is on our channel, Pun Day Monday. Every time someone subs, uh, does a paid sub on YouTube, TikTok, or Twitch while I'm live, uh, we will read a terrible pun to celebrate. All subs get punished on Pun Day Monday. Uh, thank you, as well as Diablo, for that heart. Appreciate that gift on the TikTok stream. Let's put this over here. Not all heroes. Should we like take apes. EBT? <laughs> no, there's no food stamps or EBT in the game yet. I'm sure, probably in the future, you might add something like that. Alternate payment methods that aren't just cash or credit. But for right now, there's only the basic um, forms of payment: cash and credit, or debit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got way too much brown sugar. I won't need that for a while. Why, thank you. Olive oil. Thank Why, you, Gazriel, for that resub. Uh, and Pavlos, um, this pun is for you. My wife. Nope. Oh, you can't play cards on a small boat because someone is always hitting the deck. That is a stupid pun. <laughs> that was bad. Even on the scale of puns, that's bad. That was just, ugh. Not good. Okay, put all that candy over there. Some more coffee. Put the rest in the back. Um, some honey. Beautiful honey. And let's throw that away. Some milk over here. Some oil. Oh, yeah, if you weren't here last night, we do have a new emote on Twitch. Uh, Dan Shoot, if you want to... Uh, spread democracy and freedom against the bugs. Why is the bread vertical? That's just the way the dev decided to put it in on the shelf. Maybe it's easier to animate that way. I don't know. Um, put the server here. You just uh, click the button and the stuff auto loads on the shelf wherever the dev decided to animate it to go. Why, thank you. You really have no control over shelf placements at all in this game. You just you put the shelf where you want, but then when you put the product on the shelf, it always well, goes on there a certain way. Links. It would be interesting if you could like do different shelf layouts in the future, make stuff fancier. Princess uh, Neo Cakes, thank you for the resub, and Sparky, thank you for a thousand bits. Appreciate that. Oh, we're full here. Let's put this one back. Didn't know stocking shelves could be so interesting. I know. It's one of those games that on paper sounds terrible. I want you to work a retail job and not get paid for it. For hours? Okay. Sounds great. And more milk over here? Nope. Put the milk in the back. What's a milk's favorite fruit? Calco nuts. Ooh. Not all heroes wear capes. Hmm. 
Why do I keep hearing? Hold on one second. Keep hearing the alerts for some reason. But no, there's no. I'm keep hearing phantom alerts. <laughs> like nothing happened. Not all capes wear heroes. <laughs> uh, we just set aisles like coordinate my job and just move everything around, get rid of products to get new ones as their stocker gets really confusing. I imagine, yeah. Corporate always like has these elaborate plans about how to rearrange products to maximize customer customer purchase power. Little stuff like that. You're like, what? Um, we have even more milk over here, but nowhere to put it. So let's uh, just stick it in the back, right there. All right, some eight. Eight pack of eggs. We'll close that and put it in the back. Um, up here. I think that other one's butter. Okay, we got cheese, but it, the cheese is full. Pretty sure cheese is full, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Um, water is full. I'll put the water in the back. Right there. Some more milk over here. Uh, storage progressing nicely. Yeah, it's getting better. Definitely a little more for along than it was all heroes previously. Capes. Thank you, Roxwell the Demon, for the 13-month resub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, Susu. Make sure it's all full. And then let's put... um. That over there. Looks like more coffee. Already full. Never mind. So we are well stocked on coffee for now. There's no customizations yet. That's going to be a future update. He said where it'll you'll be able to customize your shop a lot more from paint to floors to signs, uniforms for your employees. You know stuff. Just about everything. All right, let's, uh, more eggs. We'll put those over. Oh, nope. Full on eggs. We'll put them on the floor, I guess, over here. Why, thank you. There's going to be an update probably today that will add, hopefully be adding, um, whatchamacallit, uh, restockers. Hopefully today. May not actually be today, but. Hopefully soon. They're gonna loan, yeah. Oh, uh, we have to. I got a five thousand dollar loan. We have to pay it every day. Loans are a big chunk, eating your profits big time. So you gotta make sure that you can afford it. But make sure you have plenty of product before you get that loan. You have to pay it every day, and a big amount every day. Why? Thank you. Not all heroes wear capes. All right. Um, more pasta. I'll put that in the back uh, with the other pasta. And I our loans free money. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. In real life, loans can be free money if you can manage to. Um, earn more than the interest rate that you get the loan at like let's say you get a loan for like seven percent interest but then you invest it and make ten percent then you then technically it's free money just make it free money there it's risky but you could do it that's how uh, rich people get rich and then keep staying rich and keep getting richer they have all this extra money to keep investing to make more money with. Um, all right, spaghetti. Put 
that in the back. And elbow. All right, and then put this over here. All right, now are we restocked pretty much? Definitely a lot more stock than we were. We should be fine now. All right, we can open. Start making that money. And boop. Yeah, that's what a lot of rich people do. They will, they'll get loans for a low interest rate on a big chunk of money and then invest that money and stuff to make more money with. Because they're since they're rich, they can afford. If if it goes bad, they can afford to eat the loss. So they take a lot of risks and stuff. Yeah, and also you can, if you're spending your money on stuff, you can get past paying some taxes if it's like counts as a loss versus not. You know, lots of tricks with the taxes. All right, um, oh, thank you very much. A lot of people also set up um, S corporations and then they'll make themselves an employee and then put their money that they earn from their job into a pension for themselves and then by being a pension they don't have to pay tax until they withdraw it much later in life and then by putting all that money in there it makes their income go down so they pay less taxes now and then they can divert it m later and then slowly withdraw it so they pay less tax like there's lots of like ways to like be sneaky and and you know pay less money in taxes and stuff <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're wealthy, like a lot of these people are, you don't, you have plenty of money to live on, so you don't, you can like afford to like take your money and put it away and wait to pay taxes on it later and stuff. Um, hello, ma'am. Uh, twenty-five cents. Thank you. Really? All right. Thank you. Why, thank you. Oh, Carlos says, sending good vibes. Thanks for what you do. Well, thank you for the good vibes. Ooh, Dahlia with a brand new sub. Let's see. For Punde Monday? I used to be a banker, a baker, but I didn't make enough dough. Why, thank you. Rat Scapula, thank you for that resub as well. Today I have met the vegetarian brother of Bruce Lee. Brocco Lee. <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's very stupid, but it works. It's just stupid enough. All right, hi guys. Welcome to Dan's Groceries. Can I take your grocery order? Uh, ten fifty. Thank you. Oh, Sadie, uh, loves you. Thank you for that. Uh, Rose, appreciate that on TikTok. All right, hi, ma'am. Um, that'll be a hundred. So eighteen dollars and twenty-five cents of change. Thank you. Hello, sir. Thank you for buying so many groceries. Money, 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 money. I mean, thank you. $145.50. Big spender. We love a big spender. And thank you, ma'am. Have a great day. And $4.50. I like a big spender. They come in and spend well, like a big chunk of change and buy a bunch me. of groceries. That's big profit for us. Well, hello there, you saucy Let's restock the chicken. We're getting a little low on the chicken over here. 
Meat. She said butter was too expensive. Not all oh, heroes wear you. capes. Well, maybe I should lower the price of the butter. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, let's see. Uh, does chat get a discount in my shop? Yes. Uh, we have a sale for chat members. If you buy two, you get two. Buy three, get three. Buy one, get one. Sale right now. Um, for all chat members only. Not all heroes wear capes. And seven seventy-five. Kathy, thank you for that sub. Uh, thank you for the sub on Twitch. Toilet paper plays an important role in my life. Hello, ma'am. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Thank you. $23.75. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, $1. Have a great day. Two seventy-five for butter. I know. Plays a role. Bill. Come on, buddy. Why, thank you. I know you're getting paid by the hour, but can you do a little, a little faster? Oh, man. Not all heroes wear capes. Man, it's killing me here. It's just like so slow. Not all heroes wear capes. Refill our water. <laughs> thank you, Loot Cheese, for that resub and Dalton Cash Bill on Punday Monday. <laughs> I've decided to become a professional fisherman, but discovered that I couldn't live on my net income. A mushroom walks into a bar and orders a drink. The bartender tells him to get out. The mushroom says, why? I'm a fun guy. Uh, let's put some more veal on the shelf. If I put this veal on the shelf, is that revealing? All right, hello, welcome, thank you, ma'am. That'll be four dollars and seventy-five cents. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. That'll be ninety-four dollars. Exact change. Thank you. Soda's expensive, huh? Okay, 9.25, thank you. Some, some soda's too expensive. Oh, yep, that'll do it, 3.25. Oh my god, a game controller from SOS Diablo. Thank you so much, so nice of you. Thank you. Being a cutie patootie today with all the gift subs, I appreciate that. Um, 3.75, $3. Five dollars. Oh God, that's uh, five dollars even. That was way too high in price. Um, let's go three dollars even on that one. Uh, dollar. I'm missing mozzarella. I believe I have some back. I think. I think we do. Mozzarella. Maybe we're out. I thought we had mozzarella though. Yep, yeah, there it is. Mozzarella. Yeah, the, the soda and the butter was way too expensive in the fridge. We got that fixed now. Alright, put that over here. And throw that away. Oh, thank you for the follows, Bobby and Meow and Alana. Uh, TikTok loves when you guys follow. Pushes the live stream out, so thank you for following. Means a lot. Uh, fifty-one fifty. Thank you. All right. Uh, we made fifty-two hundred dollars today. Not bad. It's a pretty good profit day. Thousand dollars in profit. Even after buying all that stuff. 
If you have a bigger shop, yes, it can get huge. But each expansion gets more and more and more expensive. If you leave customers at the register, they just stand there until you come check them out. They don't get mad or anything. There's no sort of, like, customer anger level or anything just yet. Why, thank you. Uh, Rick Cormy, thank you for the 53-month resub. Appreciate that. Let's pay our bill. You know what? Let's pay off our loan now. Pay it off early. Save some money. Uh, we should be debt free. We'll just open the store today and just pray everything's fine. Alright, let's go restock while they're doing sales. Okay, box is empty. I would love to have a, a damn trash can in this store because having to run outside every time gets old. <laughs> so old. Uh, let's see. Water. Uh, eggs. <laughs> Looks like, uh, little sushi? No, big sushi. Okay, we stocked that. Uh, Midnight well, Cat, thank you for 120 months resub! Uh, that is an update he wants to add, is in the future you'll be able to update all the prices from the computer. Without having to, like, run to the shelves and then click on each tag to make it a lot easier because right now it's a little updating all the stuff is a little tedious because you got to run around and check each price and so they're, they're going to update that eventually 140 month resub from midnight cat getting paid to sleep would be a dream job I know Midnight Cat had a big 140 month resub. That is, uh, oh god, let me do the math on that. Calculator. 140 divided by 12. Nope. I did 140 divided by 1, and it was 140, in case you're wondering. That's 11 years, 11 and 2 thirds of a year. Almost 13 years. Almost 12 years. Almost. It's getting there. Very close. Um, put all that there. Uh, we got some cheese. All right, throw that in there. And flour. Put that on the shelf. I think one of the next upgrades we can get is going to be beer. We we'll be able to sell beer in the store. Hello, sir. Beer and cheese. I mean, meat and cheese. God bless America. Just meat and cheese. Don't need none of them veggies. As uh, Ron Swanson called it, that's my food's food. Veggies. Um... Eggs. Let's do big eggs. Throw that away. Um. Let's see. Okay, throw that away. Uh, honey. Let's restock the shelf with more honey. Grocery expired? Not yet. They haven't implemented a expiration date system, but he said that that will be coming in the future in a future update. If you go on the main screen of the game before you start playing, there is a list on the right of the screen of everything that's planned to be coming to the game, and there's a lot of stuff on there, features that aren't in the game yet that will be coming in the future. 
It's just a matter of how long it takes him to program it and implement it. And since he's working by himself, it could be a while. It might be years, might be a couple of years, might be... We, really, we don't know yet. Yeah, I got some milk right there. All right, fill that in. All right, uh, are we good on milk? We could use a little bit more milk on the shelf in here. I think I have some milk in there. Yeah, here's some milk. Let me fill in the gaps here. All right, all full. Yeah, some milk. Cow's milk. And put the oh noodles on the shelf. Mulk is another way to say it. Yeah, that works. Mulk. All right, put it there. Let's flip the light on. A potato probably needs to go back on the shelf. Thank you, sir. Uh, we're going to need probably pasta. Yogurt's too expensive. Why? Why would the yogurt be too expensive? It's like $2. <laughs> Let's try one ninety, I guess. Maybe it's based on percents instead of dollar amounts. Customers can get through there, but I can't for some reason. Uh, four dollars and fifty cents. Have a great day, ma'am. Couldn't find moussaka. <gasps> Are we out of moussaka? Thought I had so much of it. There must be some on the shelf right here. Yeah, there's some. Okay, restock the moussaka. And this stuff, the Put oh, salmon au gratin or something. Thank you very much. I got this game and it's so glitchy. Did you have this problem? Uh, glitchy how? What's what's happening? There's been like minor bugs and stuff, but nothing like game breaking yet. Little things here and there. Um, let me stock the honey. All right, uh, apples. Let's see, any more apple juice? Yep, empty. All right, and then, hello, welcome. That's so many bottles of water, sir. Couldn't find oil. Oh, we are out of oil. Both oils, almost. Ma'am, how much milk do you need? That's a lot of milk. Are you going to try out the Stardew Valley update? Yeah, hopefully it releases some patch notes to, like, give us a full breakdown of what stuff is new. So I can see how much of a new playthrough it's going to be for that. Now, Stardew Valley is a long game. And trying to do a full playthrough is going to be rough before, um, before what's it come, it, what's the name comes out. The, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. 1575. All right, we made a lot of money today. All right, next day, twenty-five hundred in profit. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's see. Turn that off. Okay, our our bills our bills are paid. Why? Thank you. You're welcome. Our bills are paid, so we don't have to worry about bills. We can just stock up. Okay, we need fries and chicken. Fries and chicken. One, two, three, four, five. And then fries. Uh, water. Actually, there should be bottled water right here. Yep. 
That guy bought like six bottles. It was crazy last night. Like it was nothing. Um, I came around without it lagging so bad. If you're, it sounds like your computer might be a little too weak to play this game. Maybe uh, make sure it meets the minimum requirements. A lot of people have been having um, lagging problems on the game if their computer isn't like isn't super up to date on graphics card and processor power. Uh, hopefully, he's been optimizing it with every patch um, to make it better for people that have um, light, lower end hardware. So hopefully he can optimize it a bit more for people. Um, it's been happening to quite a few people on the Steam forums. I don't know if there's any like fix out yet other than just waiting for updates right now. I've got a good PC in the night. FPS can drop depending on the size of the store. Oh, it might just be like if yeah, if it gets too big, it might be too much CPU processing power or something. Why, um, thank you. Let's uh put this over here. Um, yeah, I just I have a uh, PC built by our sponsor, um, Starforge Systems, and it's like top of the line, so. Why, thank you. I'm not having any issues personally, but then I don't have a computer to test um, test other configurations on. Uh, when's the restocking update? They said this weekend, but they didn't quite hit it this weekend, so we're hoping today. We're Why, hoping today. Uh, the Steam forums are a good place to look to see if anyone's found any like solutions to like help. There's any settings you can turn down or any configuration settings you can Why, tweak. Sometimes you. they're on the forums. They might look around. Maybe someone has an answer for you if you're like getting a lot of lag. Why, thank you. Sometimes just lowering the resolution down can help a lot too. So if you're playing on 1080p, try playing in 720p. See that helps. That might help a lot. Because if it's just a smaller picture to render, sometimes that can help immensely on some games. All right, put that back there. Uh, candy. Where can you get a computer from Starforge? Just go to the Starforge link in our chat, out exclamation point Starforge, or pen below the video if you want to check it out for yourself. They make wonderful PCs from all sorts of price points, too. So you don't have to get the latest and greatest, but you can get something a little more uh, modest for price-wise at a good deal. All right, let's go ahead and put that down there. And some more yogurt. Okay, fill that in. Too many open boxes can give can give lag to the game. Oh. Yeah, if you have like loose products. So make sure you close all your boxes before you put it before you um, store them away. You don't want to store an open box. If that's causing lag for some people. So make sure every box is closed. That way it's just one item instead of rendering all the items in there as well. Um let's see. Uh eight pack of eggs. Yep. Need that. Restock. Okie dokie. I think we're restocked. Let me check the toilet paper. Oh, God. They cleaned me out like COVID right now. <laughs> Jeez. No toilet paper. At all. All right. Um... How about smoked salmon? Restock that. All right, and then have you played King of Retail? I, yeah, I played that a uh, few months ago, and it was pretty fun. A little janky, little low budget game, but it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it for what it was. There's been quite a lot of janky little shop games lately. Why, thank you. This is one of the best ones to come out in a long while. 
All right, and throw that away. Uh, more eight packs of eggs. All right, throw that away. Put that, uh, oh, close that. Having too many lights on at once can cause the frame rate to drop. Oh, I can see that. The lights are, the lights probably are a little high budget when it comes to the game because the way you can place them manually and they cast light around them and the light bounces off stuff could be a bit expensive performance wise all right so now that we got all the back restock now we need to go through and so we need both oils and bread and milk so both oils we need bread And we're going to need some milk as well. And peanut butter. And flour. Some flour. And some big sushi. Some sush. Got some sush, man. And could use a little bit more meat. Not all heroes wear capes. No more meat. Uh, thank you very much. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, the thing went off, but I don't see. Let me double check. Oh, thank you, uh, Secret Asian Man, for gifting a gift sub. I didn't. It didn't pop up in chat for some reason. Thank you for gifting a sub to um, the handbill. Thank you very much. Uh, we need all the cereal. So, cereal. All that cereal. We're going to need toilet paper, potatoes. Let's do toilet paper and potatoes. Two, three. Potatoes. And hand soap. So, basically, all the cleaner. All that cleaner and pasta and rice, pasta and rice. Not pad thai. Rice. And we could use regular soda, basically all the soda. All the soda, both juices. Um, and I think that's everything, and then we should be pretty stocked. Oh, uh, Mufasa, no, sorry, Musaka and salt. Osaka and salt. And butter and cheese. All the cheese. Um, butter. Butter. Chocolate and cake. All right, God, that was so much product. 
Ah! It's a big pile of it out there. All right, let's throw that on the shelf there. Good morning, Darth. Do you do fries yet? I, I, I think I, I, I zoned out like halfway through that. It was so many things and so many things to try to put in my brain, and my brain's like, oh, I haven't enough coffee yet. It, it's one of those like, ah. We'll find out after I get this massive pile of boxes if I got the fries or not. All right, some more fries. Yeah, ordering right now is a daunting task. It's just so much stuff. Okay, we got some milk. We'll fill in all the milk on the shelf here. Put the milk in the corner for milk. I'm gonna go ahead and grab toilet paper. And some rice. Is he winning? Yes. If we're making profit and we're not broke and are, we're making money, then we're, we're winning. At any cost. Some check in. Check in. We'll go right here. Some bleach. Some more bleach. All right, and then put that there. Uh, money goes up and down, but we were paying our loan. So that's why our money is still the same. We were, a lot of our money was going towards our loan every day. But, like, our money is the same, but we ha our shelves are full of product. It means it's all stuff that hasn't sold yet. And if it all sold, we would um, have a lot more money. Our profits are pretty good in this. It's uh, If we buy something for... Let's see. So we're buying eggs for... Let's see. Eight pack of eggs. Let's see. Eight packs of egg. We're, we're paying twenty-one dollar, so a dollar seventy-eight. A dollar seventy-eight. Oh, it's right there. Okay, it says it on the tag. We're selling it, so we're making a dollar ninety-seven. So that's like a hundred percent profit on everything. So we're basically doubling our money every time we do the cycle of buying something, selling it for more than we bought it for, buying it, selling it. Reinvesting, doing it again and again and again. Uh, the employees are kind of a very bare bones system right now. You, they just stand there all day, every day. They never take a break. They never go home. They never call off. They work every single day, all day. Never go home. They're always there. They're like working robots right now. They just sit there. It's corporate America's ideal employee. Like real life, real life would would love employees that did that. They would be ecstatic if they could just sit there all day and never move and just work endlessly. Yep, there's one person working on this game that lives in France, and he's working as fast as he can on the game. Um, he sold six hundred thousand copies so far, so he can make the game full time now. Because this game is selling very well, and people are playing it, people are watching it, people are buying it because they're watching people watch it. It's just a really fun little game that just it's working out, and the dev is selling it well, which we love to see devs make good games and then succeed at it. At that. Okay, it looks like I did order fries. People are wondering if I ordered fries. Yes, we did, because I smart. All right, soda. And then, boop, up there. More chicken. And I, I think some people enjoy watching smug CEOs fail as well. 
We like seeing good developers win and sometimes watching smug CEOs that are talking some shit fail. Okay, keep putting that over there. Note to game is based in Turkey. Oh, this developer is Turkish. Someone told me France the other day, so it's Turkish. So it's one guy in Turkey that's making the game. Uh, let me double check. Knocked to games is not. Is that it, him or his publisher? Sometimes they have a publisher. If it's self-published, it might not have his name on there. All right, uh, elbow pasta. Put that there. Um. All right, we got cheese. Let's throw that on there. Okay, throw that away. Uh, apple juice. Let's put that on. Oh, nope. Can't okay, put this down here with the other apple juice. Okay, we got cake. <laughs> we have all the cakes. Put that there. More chicken. I think we're full on chicken now. Let me double check that. Nope. We can pour that one more over here. Uh, rice. Okay, put that there. Uh, honey c cereal. Let's see. Is Tifa around? Um, she's probably sleeping. This is her nap time. She likes to sleep in the morning. She likes to sleep in the afternoon. And she likes to sleep at night. And then right when I go to bed is when she likes to run around the house like crazy. Fries. Uh, cats sleep, I think, on average 16 hours a day. So they sleep a lot. A lot. And more oil. Let's put that on the shelf. All right, perfect. Cats get zoomies at night. Yeah, I think cats like to be nocturnal. Little, like to hunt at night in the wild. I would too if I could see in the dark. I'd be like, oh. Dogs sleep a lot. Certain breeds sleep more than others, but yeah, some dogs like like bulldogs will just sleep all day. They'll just sit there on the couch and just sleep and fart loudly all day. Uh, Musaka. Yeah, St. Bernard's like to sleep. There's quite a few breeds that love sleeping. Not the most active dogs in the world. Nope. Oh, put that there. Top. Alright, more cleaning supplies. Alright, I think we can open the shop now and let people start grabbing some stuff while I'm restocking. Yeah, but you ever hear a pug cry out? It's the most... It sounds like a human screaming. There's some great videos on TikTok about um, pugs just... Making those crazy noises. Why, thank you. Uh, bread. Let's restock the bread. Ron's bread. Never heard of Ron's bread. Uh, it's cheese. Play this on iPad? No. Currently, it's only on Steam. The game is called Supermarket Simulator. Only on PC currently, but once the game's done, they might get it on console in the future. But for right now, it's only a PC game. 
Uh, some more cheese. Thank you, sir. All right, and then chocolate. Uh, I'm worried about stocking the shelves. Worry about the price change later. Don't worry about it. And put that on the shelf there. Uh, a little more moussaka, I think, on the shelf here. I'll put the rest in the back. Up there. Some more shampoo. Something I don't have to buy a lot in real life. Well, go through it so slowly. Way, saucy minx. Shampoo is mostly to clean my scalp and make my scalp smell nice. <laughs> I don't get not a lot of hair to wash, and also don't use much of it. It's like scalp center. Itchy back. All right, and put all that on the shelf. Perfect. All right, flower in the back. I'm gonna speed ring you guys out. Hi. 2275. Oh, sorry, not 122, my bad. Have a great day. Oh, someone's buying some sugar. Six boxes of sugar. Wow. Someone has a sweet tooth, my God. 25 cents. Have a great day. And dollar fifty. This taps into that childhood like imagination of running your own uh, grocery store. Where you like get a bunch of fake stuff, put it around, make some fake money, and have your brothers and sisters come and shop at your shop with the fake money you give them. I don't, I don't know if you remember doing that when you were a kid. Or just having your animals, stuffed animals, do it if you didn't have any brothers or sisters. Alright, uh, there you go. Maybe they're a baker. That's true. They could just be a baker. Um, Alright, let's see. Toilet paper. Restocking, it just takes ages in this. Restocking all the things, all the time. Another big, big chunk of big amount of sugar from that guy. Thank you. Ooh, two sushis. Three sushi containers. Damn, sir. Must be getting in for the office. That's a lot of sushi. Thank you, sir. $19.50. You have a good day now. That's some good sushi right there. Man that gives sush for his like coworkers, that's a that's a he makes friends for life that way. Okay, put the bleach away. Um some soda. Empty box is empty. Alright, let's store all that. Chuck it up there. Some OJ. Alright, put 
that down there. And some peanut butter. No one's buying the peanut butter. Why? Oh, $6. It's underpriced. Price people aren't buying it. It was super cheap. Um, let's put some more flour up here. God, we're like all out of flour. All right, Bo. This game get even better with brand name food sponsors. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I mean, I could see that be as like a crossover thing. You get like real life brands to be in your game, and they like give you a little bit of money to put their brand in and not other brands. Especially if the game's super popular, they might uh, buy into that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be mods, too, that'll make them name brand stuff. Instead of bio juice, whatever the hell that is. Okay, that took all day to restock these shelves. Ugh. I'm still not done. Still got more to go. It's a lot of meat. More flour. And throw that in there. Oops. All right, put that there. All right, store this in the back. All right, one last box. Whew. All right, that giant pile of stuff is now on the shelves. Now to ring these people out. All right, welcome. Hey, thank you, sir. $5.50. You have a great day now. Thank you for your purchases. $75. We like that. Hello, sir. Right, big spender. Um, $28.50. Thank you. Two packs of cheese. All right. Thank you, sir. And what we got here? All right. Um, $63.25. Thank you. All right, not bad. Let's go ahead and go the next day. I got to take a quick break, guys. Got to run the bathroom. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Be right back.
<laughs> Thank you for those follows, guys, on TikTok. Any plans to play Dragon's Dama? Yes. I am super excited about that one. Hold on. I'm fat and I ran. Any second. Ah. God, running when you're fat. Ah, this was the worst. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Dragon's Dama 2. Yes, I am definitely planning on playing that. That one's going looking really good. All the previews and stuff will look great for it. I'm excited. All right, let's open the store. Um, pasta. All the pastas and a little rice. Let's do pasta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pasta. I'm gonna order ten of each. I'm feeling sassy. All right, then we're gonna put a get a couple of racks as well for the back room. And we're going to have, like, a pasta shelf. All right, let's see if I can move all this out of the way first, though. I know. We're going crazy. We have a whole shelf just for pasta. Put it right in the corner there. Um, hello, Mel's Couture. See, uh, we'll need to move some other stuff around to make room for another one. Put this guy here. Not all heroes wear capes. Oh, God, it's getting to be a lot now. <laughs> Put this here. Silver Sight, thank you for that resub on Punday Monday. Any paid sub on Twitch, TikTok, or YouTube will result in a punishment like this one. I did a theatrical performance on puns. But really, it was just a play on words. Last week, I called someone a watering hole, but I meant well. I don't want to cut my hair. I'm really attached to it. I googled how to start a campfire. I got 49,000 matches. When my girlfriend asked me to stop impersonating a flamingo, I had to put my foot down. That's pasta that can go over here. Mm, uh, milk will go there. Put that there. It's sushi. Meat. Cola can go on top of the fridge over here. All right, let's start restocking the pasta. We'll put the rest in the back. I ordered so much. Oh, my God. I think I might have to redo this back here. Instead of doing it like that, we might have to do it like this. Just for maximum spacage. Get every last inch of storage space in here. Finally splurged on some shelves, though. I won't know where anything is, though, but, you know, at least I got shelves. Honey. Double sugar. I mean, we're getting stuff off the ground. I mean, that's nice, right? Let's 
So we have to like keep taking stuff out to figure out what what is what. All right. Well, now we got actual shelves in the back. We're, we're feeling like a real grocery store now. Also, there's only two two lanes open and a bunch of registers, because the manager's in the back. Like, all right. Hello, welcome. There you go. I'll take your card. Eighty-seven twenty-five. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. Oh, uh, yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Uh, exact oh, change. Thank you. thank you for buying so many products. We appreciate your money. Thank you. Profit, 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 profit. So much profit. I love profit. Twenty-six twenty-five. Uh, thirty-four seventy-five. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. And seventy-five cents. Thank you. Flaming the one, the only one I, I'd already heard of those. Are you on Twitch? Yeah, we stream on Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube all at the same time. You, if you follow my profile um, links, you'll take you to all of my pages for everywhere. If you want to follow me everywhere? You can. Okay, mm now we're going to start putting all this pasta on the shelf back here. Mm. Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> More pasta. I bought so much pasta. You're going to start thinking I'm an impasta. Why, thank you. Mm. Macaroni. 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 Yeah, I've wandered around town. There's nothing out there at all. <laughs> it's, in fact, you can't even leave the square we're in because it's it. We're trapped. Thank you, uh, SOS Diablo, for those roses. Thank you, you beautiful person. <laughs> Julia. <laughs> oh my god. That one is great, Julia. I like that. <laughs> Let me get that one uploaded. Download. Julie made us another animated emote. Uh, this one's going to be where I become a clown. Which is not too hard to imagine. I actually look forward to watching you play this on TikTok in the morning. That's awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, let's see. I don't see that one very often, so we'll go ahead and remove that. All right, let me get this uploaded, guys. Just one second. All right, chat. Um, you can now type "Dan Clown" if you think someone's being a clown. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Emo's so good. I know Julia did a great job. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, all right. Um, put that there. I'll put that there. God, wait, I bought way too much pasta. This is so much. So much pasta. Yeah, Julia once again knocked it out of the park. I'll 
put that there just for storage purposes. We're kind of out of the room in the back, so i got to put them somewhere. Not all heroes wear capes. All right, put that there. Shady Endless, thank you for that resub of 82 months. Peace, sweetie. Okay, throw that at one. I'm going to be like a real store and have boxes everywhere. I came for the meme stayed for the most handsome man on Twitch. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Let's go ahead and put that there. That's what we call a sponsored chatter. We sponsor them to say nice messages like that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hashtag ad. Put that there. Planted viewer, I know. May chat honor you with a feast. If my mom was still alive, I'd assume that she paid him to say that. Be like, ha ha, mom. Once again, I see your tricks. Alright, put this here. Oh, God. Putting it in the store isn't working. This is going everywhere. Oops. Okay, I ordered way too much pasta. I have nowhere to store it all. Not it's, all it's heroes too much. wear capes. It's too damn much. Um, how about here? Here we go. All right, I'm gonna ring you out, guys. I know you've been sitting here for I think eight hours now. I'll finally ring you out. $140. I love that. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, 24 25 Appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you for the money. Thank you, sir. Uh, $69.50. Not bad. All right, thank you. And forty-four twenty-five. Appreciate that. I know we have patient customers. Okay, I think we can afford finally to buy a, a space upgrade. Um, so let's do growth. Boom. Okay then. So we finally have a space upgrade. We could. Oh god, we could move this stuff. Well, hello there, you saucy minx. All right, let's put this. This will be like our refrigeration section, I think. Let's got to figure out how to like organize it properly. I'll just here for now. Uh, can you combine back stock in the same box? Uh. You have to. You can do it from a shelf. If you put stuff on a shelf, then you can pull it back into the box, like that. All right. Um. So we got some more space now. How am I gonna utilize it properly? We could do something like. This. Let's see. We do what they do in the actual grocery store, which is have like a thing in the middle with a bunch of freezers that are their own little aisle. With end caps like this. Over a little bit more. The yeah, actual groceries have like these 
freezer stuff in the middle with in caps. Get a lot of stuff in there that way. Just like that. All right, and then we move refrigeration shelves over here. this over as well get that over there something like that it's getting a little better and then we get some a few more shelves I think why thank you I gotta go next day Woo. that's not bad at all no it's not bad all right, shop keeps changing. It's ever evolving. Something like that. Make a little more space for some more stuff over there as well. Uh, Bill, Bill doesn't do anything except watch, and then check people out. That's it. He doesn't do anything else. It's not in his job description. He told me. All right, let me go ahead and get a whole pasta shelf over here. And here. Okay, if it's just that one being tricky, we can figure out how to place this later. But for now, let's just move it here. Can this go back a little? Nope. It Not cannot. All so heroes let's go wear capes. Hmm. So I have to match this one. Yeah, I don't think we're about to squeeze this one back in here though, which is which sucks, but. get like a pixel over just a little bit could get it to fit I know I, I wish there was snapping sometimes in this game it would be nice <laughs> could allow this like manual like Tedium of trying to get things to fit in the little spots in here. There we go, and then Oh, so good. So good. Perfect. Satisfying. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a whole shelf of pasta because I bought so much pasta. I need to get it off the floor. Uh, this is soda. Let's put the soda over here. Yeah, I, ha I can use that corner over there for storing boxes. Or not. <laughs> well, that, that section will be expanding at some point in the future. Then we'll have to move that anyways. But put it there for now. Okay, 
close that. All right, let's see. Oh, there's probably better ways to like organize everything, but you know, I just I felt right for now. Then you gotta go with it. Uh, the registers, there is practically no space there. I have just filled that to the brim where there is just nowhere to move here. We got every inch of that place filled. I'm also gonna move this though. Actually, no. I'm going to. Yep, we're gonna move candy aisle right here. So that frees that up slightly, and then move this back over here. Looks better that way. A lot better. Oh no! I forgot about those guys. Oh shit! Never mind. Forgot about these two. All right, let's see. Like that. And that would leave space for that door to open and stuff. Perfect. Ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. The PC can't go in the storage area. It's it's silly, but you can't. I don't know why, but you just can't for some reason. Do something like that. Hmm. Looks fine. <laughs> I hope you see. I like the PC go in the storage room. It would be. Awesome, just to get it out of the way off the floor. It doesn't need to be where it is currently. Uh, cu customizations and updates is something that will be coming in the future. Where you can add signs and paint and you know all kind of that kind of stuff. That should be relatively easy to implement. I think you just want to get the bare bones of the game in first. Alright, and then... Open this. That's not bad at all. Thank you. Can we see here too? Uh, see what? Zed is dead, baby. All right. Um. Okay. Put that over there. Put that over here. So we got those fridges in the back there that people were uh, wondering why we didn't move those yet. All right. Let's move this over here and close. Those prices are atrocious. Don't I know? Don't worry. I will raise them in a bit for you. All right. Um, let's get this off of here. Yeah, we'll get we'll get those prices raised. They're way too low. this over here and move that over here and we got a whole wall of spaghetti uh, that does not match the size apparently fine Uh, they will be adding fruits and vegetables in a future update where you have to, like, people, customers have to weigh them, and when you bring them out, you have to weigh them as well. You might have to, like, stock little plastic baggies and stuff, people to put them in. You know, the true grocery store experience. All right, we got that. Uh, put that over here. Thank you, Will Pearson and Nia Asia, for, that, uh, for those follows on TikTok. Appreciate that. What do you receive when you ask a lemon for help? Lemon aid. I get it. I do. But uh, I don't want to get it. Uh, it's painful. Um, 
Okay, another thing of pasta. And another thing of spaghetti. That spaghetti shelf is stocked to the brim. Won't we'll have to worry about spaghetti for a long time after this. Okay, spaghetti, elbow pasta. Let's fill in that down there. Okay, elbow pasta, elbow pasta, elbow pasta, elbow pasta. Okay, spaghetti, and then fill that up. I know all that we need. We need pasta sauce now. We have all this like noodles. We don't have any sauce to go with it. Oh, gaming controller from Mary Green. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. Um. Okay. Now it's a little more open. We've got a little more space to breathe. And maneuver. Um. I'll put this here for now, and then we'll open it later. Did we expand? Yes, we did. The little expansion looks nice. Nope. No, thank you. Okay, we need to restock the chicken. And the potatoes. Nice organized. Yeah, a lot lot more lot more space and stuff going on. There's kind of a weird well actually. I could put this. right about here-ish. Then I can ring people out here. Very nice. A little less cramped that way. Oh, you have to buy the third storage upgrade to get to get the storage room to reach this door. Otherwise, it's the big room's not big enough to reach. It's kind of weird how it works. The door should appear after you get the third upgrade versus appearing early and confusing people. Sorry, I pulled my side muscle stretching because I'm old and fat. <laughs> Ow. I hate when I do that. I <laughs> uh, know, just like, oh, damn, you twist wrong and then you cough and it's like, oh, God. <laughs> like, no. All right, let's start ordering some stuff. Actually, let's restock from the back first. Let's see what how much we can refill everything without having to reorder. And then we'll order. I know, like, sometimes you hurt yourself when you get older just by doing something crazy, like getting out of the car, <laughs> standing out of bed, sleeping. <laughs> Just like, ow, what happened? Why am I in pain? <laughs> like, it's fine. Yeah, sneezing is always a gamble. It's like, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> You sneezed and popped your rib three weeks ago? <laughs> oh, no. Rib injuries suck. 
There's nothing they can do about them. You just have to let them heal. All right, uh, butter. Uh, restock butter. Okay, pretty good. Then let's see some of this stuff, which goes over here. The shrimp gratin. Uh, well, let's take some more of this stuff over here. Perfect. You threw your back out sneezing once. <laughs> oh no, that sucks. Oh. Yeah, I one thing that they need to do with the storage boxes and the storage shelf is they really need to move the sticker for what the item is to be on the side of the box too that faces out. It would help so much with organization. Hopefully they can squeeze that in the next update. That'd be great. Yeah, two stickers. One on the side of the box that faces out when you put it on the shelf would be amazing. One on the top, one on the side. Uh, eggs. Let's put some eggs out, which go here. Only had one in the box, of course. Different colored boxes. It would be nice to have, like, some boxes have different colors than others, but even in real life, boxes usually are always this, the same looking. It's kind of realistic that way. Or just remember where you put it? Yeah, I'll just remember where I put all the hundreds of things in my store. <laughs> I can barely remember where I put my keys five minutes ago. Or where I set my phone down. Uh, when you lose your phone, it's the worst. Because you can't use your phone to Google, how do I find my phone? So you have to do things on your own. It's horrible. Like you can't look up the answer. You have to figure it out on your own. Uh, cookies. Cookie, 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 cookie. All right, put that there. Throw that away. Yeah, that bin outside has, like, a black hole in the bottom of it. So when you put something in, it just disappears forever. Oh, and we, you're not allowed to ask where the, where it went. Because it's, it's like, pooby gone. I don't know if you remember that, that movie where... They invented some product where you spray it on dog poop and it disappears, and then people started asking, where did the poo go? Um, there you go. I know, I, I kid you not, I must be getting old because one time I was looking for my phone in the dark with my phone's flashlight turned on, looking for it. So I was looking around for my phone with the phone flashlight. Des couldn't find my phone anywhere. But I was using the light on the flashlight, on the phone, to look for it. <laughs> and when I finally realized what was happening, I was like, yeah, I, I did find it eventually. Apparently it was in my hand. I'm like, oh no, that's a senior moment already. <laughs> that's one of those moments you're like, oh no. Cheese. Uh, put the rice out there. All right, rice, rice. All right. Um. Sugar. Um, I, well, I have to move that. I'll have to move maybe the flower over at some point. All right, guys. Um, we're going to stop the TikTok and the YouTube stream for now because um, we're going to be doing a switching games in a second. We're going to be playing some Stolen Realm with Co Carnage and Sacral. Uh, we'll be playing that for a couple hours. Uh, we'll be. Uh, so the streams will go offline on both uh, TikTok and YouTube, but I'll be live on Twitch playing um, a new game called 
Soul Realm, I believe it was. Uh, we'll be playing with Coke Carnage and Sacreal uh, with a little co-op. Um, I'll be right back in just a minute. Um, Stream me go offline in just a second. Thank you for following uh, the channel. If you guys want to watch me again, you've been having a good time. Don't forget to follow the stream. Um, and I'll let you know when I'm back live again later. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye, guys. Not all heroes wear capes. Let me go ahead and... Close that. I'm going to close the... YouTube stream.